Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Galicia, also known as the Battle of Lemberg, which was a series of engagements that became the largest battle fought to date between the Austria-Hungarian Empire and Russia, located in Lemberg, Galicia, which is also now modern-day Ukraine, on August 23rd to September 12th, 1914. The Battle of Galicia is actually a combination of four main engagements that spanned across three weeks. The overall battle started with the original battle plan of the Austro-Hungarian Chief of Staff, Franz Konrad von Hotzendorf, who had planned to attack Russia and Poland with the Austro-Hungarian 1st and 4th Army. The Austrians were aware that the Russians would outnumber them by a large amount, therefore they determined a quick strike in the southern Poland would be what they needed to keep the Russians off guard. On August 23rd at Krasnik, located in the Congress of Poland in what was known as the Russian Empire, but is now currently known as current-day Poland, the Austrian 1st Army under Viktor Dankl moved towards Lublin and drove the Russian 4th Army back in the engagement known as the Battle of Krasnik. Dankl captured more than 6,000 prisoners by August 25th. Between August 26th and September 2nd, the second engagement commenced, known as the Battle of Kamarau, and occurred at Kamarau and Zamosk, Russian Poland. On the right flank of Dankl's troops, the Austro-Hungarian 4th Army drove the Russian 5th Army under Commander Pavel Plev backwards, capturing another 20,000 Russian troops and inflicting heavy casualties. Unfortunately, it was a strategic defeat for the Austro-Hungarians as they were unable to encircle the Russian army, leaving breathing room for the Russians to reconnect with other armies and regain their strength. The third engagement occurred concurrently with the Battle of Kamara. On August 29th and 30th, in the Kingdom of Galicia and Ladomeria, Austria-Hungary, the Austrian Third Army and Army Group Kovis pushed the Russian Third Army under Nikolai Ruski and the Russian Eighth Army under Alessai Brusilov. The Austro-Hungarians were handily defeated. In fact, they were routed so badly that even though the Russians stopped pursuit for two days, the Austrians were unable to regain their coherence and kept retreating. Final engagement, known as the Battle of Rawa, happened from September 2nd to the 11th near Rawa Ruska in Austrian Poland, which is also present-day Ukraine. This happened while the Austro-Hungarian Third Army was still retreating. The Austrian command pulled their forces from the northern portion of their attack, believing the Russians had been soundly beaten in the first two engagements. They were wrong. The Austrian Fourth Army, commanded by Moritz von Offenberg, had been victorious in the Battle of Kamarau, advanced with his nine divisions against Pavel Plev and his command of nine Russian divisions. The battle was brutal, and he was barely able to escape being encircled by the Russian army. Total casualties for Austria-Hungary were 450,000 men, including approximately 100,000 killed, 220,000 wounded, and another 130,000 captured. The Russians suffered less with a total of 290,000 casualties, including 250,000 killed and wounded, and another 40,000 captured. This defeat easily destroyed over one-third of Austria's fighting force. They also were pushed back over 100 miles and back into the Carpathian Mountains. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.